head dolls sometimes known as spinning entities belong to the family Tachyculosidae in the monotreme order of egg-laying mammals the four extant species together with the platypus are the only surviving members of the order monotremata and uh, are the only living mammals that lay eggs the diet of some species consists of ants but they are not closely related to the true anteaters of the americas cadnos live in australia cadnos do not tolerate extreme temperatures they use caves and rock crevices to shelter from harsh weather conditions cadnos are found in forests and woodlands hiding under vegetation roots or piles of debris they sometimes use the burrows of animals such as rabbits and wombats individual echidnas have large mutually overlapping type trees despite their appearance echidnas are capable swimmers when swimming they expose their snout at some of their spines and are known to journey to water in order to groom and bathe themselves cadnos and the platypus are the only egg laying mammals known as monotremes the average life span of an echidna in the wild is estimated around 14 to 16 years when fully grown a female can weigh up to 4.5 kg and a male can weigh up to 6 kg the reproductive organs also differ but uh, both sexes have a single opening called a cloaca which they use to urinate release their feces and to mate cadnas are very timid animals when they feel endangered they attempt to bury themselves or expose the they will curl into a ball similar to that of a hedgehog both methods using their spines to shield them strong front arms allow echidnas to continue to dig themselves while holding fast against a predator attempting to remove them from the hole although they have a way to protect themselves they can now still face many dangers some predators include feral cats foxes domestic dogs and gonas snakes pose a large threat to the echidna species because they slither into their burrows and prey on the young spineless puggles some precautions that can be taken include keeping the environment clean by picking up litter and causing less pollution planting vegetation for echidnas to use as shelter supervising pets reporting hurt echidnas or just leaving them under undisturbed merely grabbing them may cause stress and picking them up improperly may even result in injury the short beaked echidna is found in southern southeast australia despite the similar dietary habits and methods of consumption consumption to those of an anteater there is no evidence supporting the idea that echidna like monotremes have been 